My name is Dr. Tal Geva. Uh, I'm a cardiologist at Boston Children's Hospital and I'm uh, the head of the division of non-invasive imaging. Uh, I presented the use of echocardiography for the initial evaluation of infants with tetralogy of following pulmonary atresia. The main point of the presentations include the uh, fact that uh, echocardiography is the primary tool used to evaluate uh, babies with this uh, disease. The second important point is that tetralogy of fallow and pulmonary atresia is a complex anomaly and the echocardiographic evaluation requires a detailed segment by segment analysis of the anatomy and a comprehensive physiologic uh, examination. The third uh, point is that uh, the role of echocardiography in the initial evaluation is to evaluate all of the anatomic and functional aspects of the anomaly and in addition to that to determine the modes of pulmonary blood flow. ECHO is capable of uh, discriminating between patients who are at risk for having major aortopulmonary collaterals as compared with those that do not have major aortopulmonary collaterals. The distinction is based on uh, evaluation of the central pulmonary arteries, specifically the size uh, of the PAs and the presence and size of the patent ductus arteriosus. I presented data that uh, showed that in babies uh, in whom both branch pulmonary arteries, uh, the diameter was larger than a z-score of minus two and a half, and the size of the patent ductus arteriosus was greater than two millimeter and had no evidence of major autopulmonary collaterals by color Doppler, had a very low likelihood uh, to have major autopulmonary collaterals. Many of these babies can undergo uh, repair of the tetralogy of follow without uh, preceding diagnostic cardiac catheterization. Mm -hmm.